was your verdict influenced in any way by the communications of the clerk of court in this case? Yes, ma'am. She made it seem like he was already guilty. Did that affect your finding of guilty in this case? Yes, ma'am. And then they say, yeah, but it doesn't require a new trial. Look, feel what you want about Alec Murdoch, and I followed the entire case. I get why they convicted him so quickly, but this is bizarre. News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton was in the courtroom today, has the latest. I mean, the first person the judge asks, did the clerk mess with you? Yes. Did it affect your vote? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then she decides, I don't think we need a new trial. How did it play? Yeah, this was so crazy, Chris. This was one of the craziest hearings I've probably sat through. That juror, you heard her. She said that Miss Becky, the clerk, told her not to be fooled by Murdoch and then, quote, that she made it seem like she felt he was already guilty. Uh, and then Miss Becky was on the stand, denied it all. Uh, but then when the judge came down with her ruling, she said flat out, I don't believe Miss Becky. I think she's a liar and she has lied to this court. I think that she was all about fame and writing this book and self-interest and making money off the trial. It was not appropriate, but the judge ultimately ruled uh, that it didn't rise to the level uh, of a new trial. The judge felt the jury uh, would have still come back with the same verdict. But the, the Supreme Court is of South Carolina, uh, it's about materiality of the disruption, that if it's a very simple test, if what was done to tamper or whatever you want to call it change the outcome for an individual juror, let alone more than one, that's it. And yet, as Brian is saying, the judge yeah. said uh, some fleeting and foolish comments by a publicly influenced uh, clerk of courts uh, that that's all. It was dismissed as that. So what happens next? Well, next, they're going to appeal. They're going to appeal to a higher court. Right. Uh, and, and it was just, this whole thing is crazy, Chris. On top of this, which will also go into the appeal, by the way, suddenly in the middle of the hearing, uh, the, the bailiff comes out to the judge and says, I need to talk to you for a second, judge. The judge looks disturbed. They go in the back. They come back in this morning, and the judge says, I've got some bad news, everybody. Uh, we found the jurors back in the jury room. They've been streaming the trial listening to the other jurors oh, testify, which they weren't supposed to be doing, which, I mean, this it's, it's crazy. crazy. And the judge says, I can't believe this. I don't know why the bailiffs let them have their cell phones, but we're just going to continue on. Oh, my God. Brian, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Let's talk standards here. Susan Constantine and Misty Maris uh, join us now. Susan, uh, they've both been on the show a lot. Susan knows juries very well. Misty, Misty, what is the standard? What am I getting wrong? Uh, so uh, the, the juror says, yes, she said stuff to me. Yes, it affected my vote. They're in the back streaming the proceeding. And the judge says, I don't think it meets the standard. What am I missing? Chris, there are so many issues here. They're all going to be explored on appeal. This entire hearing will be a part of that appellate process. But the judge found that the standard, number one, was there improper contact? Answer, yes. Becky Hill engaged in the siren yep. song of celebrity and was improper. But number two, she found that it did not impact the outcome. She confronted that juror Z with an affidavit where that juror said she was pressured by jurors not that Becky Hill statement really uh, ruled the day. So that's where the judge's decision came from. Mm -hmm. um, Susan, when you look at this, have you ever seen a situation where a judge asks if somebody's vote was affected, the, the juror <laughs> says yes, and they just move on? Never. This is the first time this was unprecedented. You know, this was like the first time I've ever seen anything like this before. It blew my mind. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.